Romy Beans here now to talk about the Broncos game this weekend. And, you know, they're playing a team with a similar record. And if you want to make the playoffs, I said the word playoffs, you want to make the playoffs, you got to start winning and keep winning. This is true. A lot of players have said, we got to win out. Now, if you want to win out starting on Sunday, the key is getting an early start. The Broncos have been outscored 106 to 24 in the first half of games this season. Last time they had a first, uh, first half touchdown was week four against the Raiders. The Broncos last week seemed to finally get some momentum going there with Brock Osweiler. They scored in the first drive of the third quarter so hopefully they can translate that DT and Emmanuel catching feeling good chemistry from Brock get points on the board early. Yeah, that was the thing I was, I was wondering about now we have some things gelling between Brock Osweiler and the receivers and there, we haven't really seen much of that all season long right right and Demarius Thomas was saying yesterday that it's funny because sometimes Brock will accidentally use old play calls that they used two th two three years ago um, that's no longer the lingo but they all understand because they played together and they've practiced together so you're seeing that chemistry that we they continuously mm. talk about they've just kind of picked right back up where they left off and, and gelling quite well maybe we should borrow a little bit of Peyton Manning's Omaha call I you know that might help us out I mean it, now now the <clears throat> Isaiah McKenzie um, I, I guess I guess he's not gonna <laughs> not gonna play it's a great interpretation kinda, kinda, pretty kinda, accurate can't hang on to things yes Isaiah McKenzie they did decide after he's had five fumbles he's lost two of them can't have any more of those muff punts Jordan Taylor will be receiving the punts uh, Emmanuel Sanders was asked yesterday uh, what he said to Isaiah McKenzie because he's done punt returns he's a little guy like him and he said man you got a fair catch it you, you haven't fair, fair, you haven't fair yeah. caught it once. You got to do that. So yeah. he said, "Tough love for, for you know from his teammates, but that's how he'll get better." Well, as you pointed out, I mean, everybody's had their turn at having a bad game. The defense bad uh, against Philly. The offense has been bad, and then special teams last week. So maybe everybody has a good game. Right? Maybe it's mm -hmm. time. And I think. Sometimes there are external factors that really motivate players. It's the alumni game. Terrell Davis will be getting his Hall of Fame uh, ring at halftime. So the whole there will be a ton of alumni there. That motivates players a lot. And for Doma Topeco, this is him returning to play the team that he was with for 11 years. So when they're fired up, when there's someone that has been there before and they kind of want to win for them, maybe that's a little extra spark they need. Mm, let's give my high salute to Terrell and... Get oh, this yeah. one done, right? Right. All right, Romy, thanks a lot. Remember, you can always get more sports from us right here on CBSDenver.com.